life story. That's what you do, you son of a big lie. You wrap it up in a truth to make it more palatable. He's a master against... manipulator. He's so doubt into people's minds for the last 24 hours. There's only one thing he needs to do to complete his game, and that's to... Sherlock? There's something I need to do. Well, what can I help? No, man. Please, don't hurt her, please. I mean, she knows Jim, so... Oh, maybe he's gonna ask her to help him fake his death. You've always counted and I've always trusted you. She said if she needed her. You were right. If he needed her. I'm not okay. Oh. Tell me what's wrong. <laughs> what do you need? If I wasn't everything that you think I am, everything that I think I am, do you still want to help me? What do you need? She's always been... She's, she's always had Betsy, a thing. Dude. Yeah. She's always had a thing for him. Oh, She could help fake his death. She was on court, of course. Because we both know he's not going to die for real. So... Yeah, we still have season three and four. Yeah. Here we are at last. You and me, Sherlock. And our problem is Push him down! Stay alive! Just that's the just game. So boring, isn't it? In the end it was easy. Oh, he's pissed. It was easy. Now I've got to go back to playing with the ordinary people. <laughs> it turns out you're ordinary, just like all of them. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure. Oh well. Richard Brook. Nobody seems to get the joke. What do you do? Of course. Ah, uh, the boy. Rich Brook in German is Reichenbach. The case that made my name. Just trying to have some fun. <laughs> Good. You got that too. Then you were right about the... It's like digits. Every beat is a one. Every rest is a zero. Binary code. That's why all those assassins tried to save my life. It was hidden on me, hidden inside my head. A few simple lines of computer code that can break into any system. Oh. Told all my clients. Oh my god. Last one to Sherlock is a sissy. Yes, but now that it's up here, I can use it to alter all the records. No, no, no. This is too easy. This is too easy. There is no key. Do Jesus. Those digits are meaningless. They're utterly meaningless. Well, how did I break into the bank, to the tower, to the prison? Daylight robbery! All it takes is some willing participants. Oh my god. He's got connection. I didn't say anything, That's but I thought maybe he got people involved in each place. One final act. Glad you chose a tall building. Nice way to do it. Do it. Do, do what? Yes, of course. My suicide. We're talking about the fall at the beginning of the episode. For me. <laughs> I mean, he could throw you off. True, but what would be the fun of that? You're just getting that now. <laughs> okay. Let me give you a little extra incentive. Your friends will die if you don't. Oh. Not just John. Everyone. Oh. Everyone. Everyone. My That's right. Three bullets. Three gunmen. Three victims. There's no stopping them now. He doesn't have a choice. Oh gosh. <laughs> you can have me arrested. You can torture me. You can do anything you like with me. But nothing's gonna prevent them from pulling the trigger. There are only three friends in the world who will die. Unless I kill myself. Complete your story. I told you how this ends. Your death is the only thing that's gonna call off the killers. Oh. I'm certainly not gonna do it. I love that it's this humanity that he's using against him right now. Kill yourself or your friends die. 
The oh. same guy who last episode said, I have no friends! I have one. And three, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> what? What is it? What did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> So the killers can be called off, then there's a recall code, or a word, or a number. I don't have to die. If I've got you... Oh! <laughs> Sherlock, your big brother and all the king's horses couldn't make me do a thing I didn't want to. Yes, but I'm not my brother, remember? I am you. Prepared to do anything. Yeah. Prepared to burn. Mm, you're I would... ordinary. I don't you're think so. ordinary. You're on the side of the angels. Oh, I may be on the side of the angels, but don't think for one second that I am one of them. I mean, Lucifer was an angel. Sure. Really? Thank you. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, they fit together so well. Thank you. Bless you. As long as I'm alive, you can save your friends. You've got a way out. Well, good luck with that. What? What? <laughs> what? As long as I'm alive, you can save your friend. You don't have any choice now. Holy shit! Holy, Holy shit! Burn is dead? <laughs> what? Wait, did you realize that that was his only way of winning now? Holy shit! You think he's actually dead for real? I think he is. Shit! He was willing to do anything to win. Now Sherlock has to die. If he wants to save them, yeah. And he, w he wants to save them. But I'm pretty sure he has a plan. This is not the end of the show. Oh my god. Can you guess how people reacted to this the first time it played? They didn't know there was going to be another season. Nope. Whew. Oh, is that Watson? Yes, right there? Is. You see? Yes. I, I, I can't come down, so we'll, we'll just have to do it like this. What's going on? An apology. It's all true. What? Oh. Everything they said about me. I invented. Oh, I know why he's doing this. Oh, fuck. Like this? It's so it doesn't hurt as much. I'm a fake. No! Sherlock! The newspapers were right all along. I want you to tell Lestrade. I want you to tell Mrs. Hudson and Molly. It's a trick. He Just doesn't believe trick. it. No. Hi, right, stop it now. Now stay exactly where you are. He wouldn't call him his best Don't friend move. if he believed Don't. it. Keep your eyes fixed on me. Please, will you do this for me? Do what? This phone call. It's, uh... it's my note. What people do, don't they? Oh, buddy. Leave a note. Goodbye, John. No. Don't. He didn't see him actually fall. Oh. How could he fake this? He's not dead. I'm a doctor. Let me come through. Let me come through, please. 
But yeah, you, t you take somebody that looks like him and with the fall you disagree the face. Yeah, what I mean. He had to, he had to throw himself no. off. You think the guy that ran into Watson was prepared to run into Watson so he would be like, not totally there when it happened? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't know it's fake. We guess it. We guessed it's fake, but he doesn't know. Well, I hope it's fake with season three and four. You told me once <clears throat> that you weren't a hero. Um, there were times I didn't even think you were human, but let me tell you this. You were the best man, uh, the most human, human being that I've ever known, and no one will ever convince me that you told me a lie. And so... Oh. There. <laughs> and I owe you so much. Look, please, there's just one more thing. Mate. One more thing. One more miracle, Sherlock, for me. Don't be dead. Oh. Would you do that? Just for me. Just stop it. Stop this. Oh, my God. I can't it actually imagine, imagine that Sherlock is listening from <laughs> somewhere. Okay, Watson, just for you, I'm gonna be brought back to but life really just enough, for you. It's really sad, but he's asking something that could actually happen with this dude. Yeah. Pretty sure he's and listening. Figured that Wait a sec. Is he somewhere? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew yeah, it. So people didn't have to wait for him to be alive. I just want to find out how he did it. I knew it! What the movie did to help him? Uh. <laughs> Shit. I'm guessing that we're gonna learn it in season 3 what he did. For sure. He's but coming back. We're already he's dead. That's the, that's the surprise to me. Because... What you're about to see is wait. Classified I'm closing this here. Because, um... Sherlock can be dead. Obviously. I know that there's been, um... There's, I mean, there are two seasons after this, and there's been talks of a p potential season five, even like nine years after. Like I don't know how long Ooh. it's been, but even years after, because now uh, both uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, Martin Martin Freeman. Freeman, they're huge actors now. They're huge stars. They don't really have the time to come back and do this, but they've been talking about a potential comeback like they don't they're not saying no so i'm i'm like i'm not impossible sherlock cannot be dead and if we've seen before sherlock pretend to be dead and actually in the movie because i mean uh, we could talk about books we could talk about other shows but i'm gonna reference the movie with um robert downey jr he did pretend to kill himself to kill moriarty <laughs> So, and I mean, in, it's not the same here, obviously. I think him dying was, yes, to save his friends, for sure. But with everything that was going on, with the lie that was spreading, and with his reputation being torn to shreds, I think it was sort of necessary. Because it's been said at the beginning of the episode, the focus was too much on him now. He was this close to being a celebrity, and I, I think he was a celebrity. And um, you cannot really do your job when everyone recognizes you ever everywhere, when everyone follows you around. True. So, yeah. And it ended up being his downfall in this episode, too. Like, him being too famous means that people are going to look for for uh, stories about you. They're going to try to believe that you're not everything people say you are. Yeah, so people with celebrities will try to make up their own stories and they're gonna believe anything that they heard and yeah. that they read in the newspaper and the magazines. Yeah. As for the the reporters, the girl, uh, you think that she was a real one, but I do believe that maybe Moriarty just pair her off. I think she was a real off. no, I think she was a real one. You think? Uh, I think it's it was sort of a way for Moriarty to show that he could manipulate anyone. Tell them a story, however crazy the story might be, and they will because believe it. She seems so way too calm to be like, 
when, when, way too calm. She's yeah. Why? I mean, she was pretty proud of herself. In her mind, she's a. I mean, she's just starting as a journalist, and she uncovered the truth about Sherlock Holmes. She was convinced that she had the truth, and she had enough clues and and uh, proof to to prove it. And so I think she was just really happy that she she was going to have the scoop. I don't. I think she was a totally a real journalist. But anyway, it's not that important. What's important actually well, maybe is that's that what he wanted us to believe. It's crazy in this <laughs> it's, show. That's not far fetched. It's crazy, and I, it's not unrealistic to believe that if a guy like this existed, like if a guy like this was walking around solving crime, and people were hearing about it, there are a lot of people who would want to prove that no, 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 impossible. He he's be he's creating. Genius. Yeah, he's creating these cases to solve them himself and pretend to be a genius. Because for them, admitting that he is that intelligent is also to admit that they are that stupid. No, yeah. It is not even that they are stupid, maybe that they are airplane. No, no, no. Think about the police officers, the people working on these cases, and they can never solve it. And you got, you got the guy where, uh, t telling his boss that he had to call Sherlock one or two times, and the other is like, like more like 30. 30. Like, they are always calling him because they can never solve these cases. And he makes it look so easy. And he's not doing it like he's not really good with, with his people skills. He's making it look so easy. And he's telling them that it's that easy. He's calling them idiots. He's putting them down. And he does it every single time. Yeah, but that's, he's falling on their nerves. That's Sherlock. I know, but they, they have to deal with them. So, in comes the, the opportunity to say that. Maybe he's not that genius. Maybe he made these cases himself, so that's why he's he pretends to be so intelligent. The thing with someone that is that until that smart, that intelligent is you cannot compare it with someone with um, general IQ. No, yeah, you, we you we know, but they are they have to deal with them all the time. I think that for them to admit that yes, Sherlock is just that great is also to admit that they are not that good at their job, that someone is better than them and someone is out there doing their job while they sit back, they, they, they stay back and just play dumb because they can't do anything. So to say, you made it up, that's, that makes them feel better. That makes them feel like they finally got the bad guy. Two things. One, I kind of just said how they can be insecure about it. Oh. And two, I like that they brought back something that we saw in season one with the girl Donovan. That's her name. She uh, told Watson that uh, she wouldn't be surprised. How if long till he starts making them himself? Yeah, because he's gonna get bored. Because he was so bored about it. Yeah, but that was a little bit different because in this case, they thought that I never liked this girl to be honest. Well, I mean, we don't know her past. Like, we don't know how many cases she's been with Sherlock. And having him, you know, tell her that she was stupid. I don't know. Yeah. But um, I think it's genius that Moriarty went this way. Because he did say last season that he was going to destroy what Sherlock was. Well, what, he, what, he, what he held dear most. And what he holds dear most. I mean, we could argue about this. We could argue that now it's it's Watson. It's Mrs. Uh, Hudson. Hudson. It's his, his friends. He's changing, but if we think about it, like, what does he hate the most? It's being called, I mean... A fake. A, a fake, fraud, a fraud. Yeah. It's being called stupid. Someone telling him that he got something wrong and losing the game. But when he gets a case that he can solve... Right. <laughs> yeah, when he gets a case and he cannot solve it, he loses it. So having everyone turn on him like that, and making it impossible for him to... To change anything and being helpless like that, like even in the end, like taking his own life, Moriarty went that far to win over Sherlock. Now I, I don't know if he actually died. I don't know if he's gonna come back. I don't. We never know in this show. Like Sherlock came back from the dead right there, and I still don't know how he managed to throw himself off the building. I think for a moment Watson, you know, he was saying keep your eyes on me, but for a moment he lost him, and then he, someone rode into him, like drove his bike into him, and he got dizzy for a second. I wonder if that was part of the plan so Watson could not say by being there, you know, oh shit, that's not Sherlock. Maybe. But, uh, and I mean, did he took him away? I don't know, I don't know, but... You know what, the only way for Moriarty to win over Sherlock is that if in season 3 and 4 he cannot um, bring back his own uh, his, uh, reputation. If you cannot make a man. Yeah, but it's going to be, I mean, of course it's going to come it's back. It's going to be difficult, but 
if he does succeed in taking back what was this at first, Moriarty is going to lose. Yeah. Which is why I think, like, in the end, I don't know how much of the situation was planned by Sherlock, how much of it was acting and how much was actual genuine surprise. Like, he, <laughs> I think he surprised him by shooting himself in the head, but uh, he did go there planning to fake his death. So he was, I mean, he said, he said it himself, the, la the last thing on his, it, for his plan is to kill me, having me die, you know, so he so knew. So I'm going to kill myself first before he does. He knew what was going to happen, so he went there prepared, but um, Moriarty is one hell of a player. By the way, I, I, I've said it several times in this episode, but I'm going to say it again. He's so cool. I love this dude. I think it's just the way that he plays it. Like and the, yeah. the childless, where we, uh, of his, uh, how he speak, yeah. how he think. And there's something so mesmerizing about how he does things. Like, he, he knows Sherlock so much that he plants fake clues here and there. He makes him focus on the littlest details, but they don't even matter. So while he's looking for these little details, like him tapping the code, which was not even the code, and there's no no key to find, like by having him focus on one thing and then just showing up and being like, hey, dude, uh, I, there's nothing I, to I find. I wish really sure what I said at the beginning, but when we saw him with the apps, uh, you we, were, we were would... mesmerized with, oh my God, it's so brilliant. He uh, created a code for everything. And that maybe it's not a code. Maybe every single time that he click on the app, is just sending a signal to someone to just open up the, the vault. That makes more the, sense. The jails. And that makes more sense. I wish I'd have said it though. You know, there's one thing, Moriarty, and I, I don't remember the actual numbers, but one of you guys wrote in the comments when we started Sherlock that uh, Sherlock's IQ was lower than Mycroft, and Mycroft's IQ was way lower than Moriarty's. Yeah. So I'm like, Moriarty is brilliant, and he has a way of doing stuff that surprises even Sherlock, because he doesn't always do things by the rule, like Sherlock does, you know? Yeah. What, I think what makes Sherlock greater than Mycroft is his ability to do anything to get to the to the end of the problem to solve something. Like he said, I may be with the angel, but I'm another one. Exactly. That's why he's similar to Moriarty. Both these dudes are capable of doing anything to win. So that's what sets them apart. I think that's why, like he said it himself, like he, Mycroft could never force him to say anything. Like he was not a threat. He was not even a problem. He was an ordinary pe person, even though he's really intelligent. So he's not a challenge. Sherlock is the challenge, but he's not as bright. So Moriarty can play with them because Sherlock, his mind goes so many places, but it's all, it's almost like he thinks straight in a straightforward way. Like he's always going to follow the same patterns. He's going to look for the, the little details that we don't notice. But what makes it difficult for him to win over Moriarty is that Moriarty knows this and he uses this. He, he takes his straightforward path and he sets it in the wrong direction while he does something else that is way less complicated than Sherlock thought. I tried to say it at first, and sorry I mixed my words, but uh, like I tried to say, with Moriarty, we never know what he's gonna do. We always get surprised, yeah. and that's what's fascinating about him. Which yeah. you know, we kind of can guess what where he's going on. There's a reason for that, though. Sherlock in all his glorious mind tricks, he's trying to solve a problem that was done by ordinary people. Ah, uh, true. So an ordinary <laughs> scheme, an ordinary case, we ordinary can try solution. to guess. Yeah, we can try to guess it ourselves. And seeing his pattern, since he's always, like I said, he's always straightforward in his own way, we can try to guess where he's going to go next. Like last episode when we guessed about the drug, before he ever said that there was going to be a drug, I'm still really glad that we did that. <laughs> so there's that. And um, Moriarty, being the one that creates the problems, can go anywhere. So I'd be really interested in seeing, uh, in seeing a case that Sherlock created himself. Like this. We don't know how he, he faked his death. Can, well, we can guess, can but... Can we that he asked Molly for help? Because she that we know. works with courts. That we know. Uh, but how, yeah. But yeah, when he fools people, when he's the one being the villain, sort of, when he creates the problems or the case, that's when we can be like, oh shit, okay, no, we can't guess that. Okay, okay, <laughs> let's try to guess it. It, cannot, it could have used a drug to just lower its uh, heartbeat, survive or fall like that. 
That's what I can. That's what I can figure. That's why I'm like, well, we lost sight of him for a second. So something must have slowed his had, fall down. He had to jump because the snappers was watching him. So if he didn't fall, they would have to jump. And that's we sort of, we kind of saw him fall, hit the ground. So hmm, I don't know. We'll have to wait till next episode to see how we did it. How heartbreaking was the ending, though? With Aww. John saying, first of all, that. He's his best friend. Last episode, that was Sherlock, you know, trying to fight for his relationship. But and but Watson, this episode, teaching him how to be a human being. But that speech at the end, like we both know, we both knew that Sherlock was not dead. But to to hear Watson say all these things and fighting his emotions, because he's not an emotional man. Yeah. He's he's try. I mean, he's a soldier. So first of all, there's that. Like there's this. Uh, it's almost like he he feels forced to present this facade like this wall uh of uh of unemo he's he's an unemo unemotional guy like he's he's pretending to be unemotional and to be strong for everyone around so for him to break down a little bit and be like oh this is too much whoo whoo ah, i'm okay and then be like you know what i need a miracle right there can you just not be dead You could do that, right? You you blow me away all the time. Can you do that? I'm like, oh, you're showing vulnerability, and this is so heartbreaking. Could, could you imagine if he was indeed dead for for real? That I mean, oh, what's what I've been destroyed. for all these people? That yeah, he is. So for all these people, he I, is. I think that what Watson is still believing that Sherlock is not dead. No, I think he he knows he's dead, but there's a part of him that also knows that Sherlock has been. Uh, a little impressing bit of him. Kind of hope that he's well. Not I mean, he dead. asked for the miracle, but that's what I mean. Like, but there's a part of him that that remembers that Sherlock has always impressed them in the past. Like, he's always done some crazy things, and like you said, he also saw it happen with Irene. And so, I think there's a part of him that hopes for a miracle. Yeah. But he also trusts his um, medical degree, and he trusts that the people at the hospital also could t could tell that it was Sherlock, and he trusts his own eyes, too. He saw him fall, so... Well, did he? That's a question. Did he really well, we, fall? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait. I don't know how long you guys had to wait for the next episode, but our next episode is already on Patreon, <laughs> and it's going to be on YouTube next, next week, oh. so... I'm excited to see how we did it. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, like I said, it's already on Patreon. And if you can't or you won't, well, we'll see you next week for the first episode of season three. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.